Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been uh, talking about uh, various aspects of olefin metathesis uh, over uh, a series of lecture and in the past lecture we have focused uh, on a new aspect which is uh, the aspect of catalyst development. Now in this uh, what we had observed is that uh, this is a, a key area uh, which sort of led to the explosion of the field of olefin metathesis. This is uh, an area which showcased the capability of uh, uh, olefin metathesis as a reaction in terms of transformations that it can undertake in terms of the amounts uh, to, uh, the product that it can churn out. In uh, so, basically the depth and the breadth of this olefin metathesis reaction uh, was uh, built uh, on the back of uh, catalyst uh, development aspect. So, uh, in this regard we have uh, 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 spoken about uh, the various types of metal carbene complexes uh, uh, which were synthesized. Um, one thing uh, for sure to note is that carbene is uh, uh, kind of uh, very uh, um, react sensitive uh, moiety uh, to be stabilized on metal and they are extremely uh, reactive uh, not only uh, to various substrates but also to the presence of uh, uh, air and moisture. Uh, in the reaction vessel. So, uh, uh, to make a catalyst out of this extremely active species uh, is of a challenge just for stabilizing them is itself a challenge uh, and um, in this process of catalyst development uh, among the various metals late transition metal early transition metal that have been used uh, what uh, we had observed is Grubbs uh, uh, contribution in making ruthenium uh, emer emerging out as victorious for developing uh, olefin metathesis catalyst. Ruthenium as And this is because is easy to handle also easy to prepare. and functional group tolerant. So, this is what uh, makes uh, uh, ruthenium carbon complexes as extremely uh, good catalyst uh, for uh, 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 among other metal carbon uh, catalysts for olefin metathesis reaction. Now, in this uh, mm, uh, 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 in this uh, race for developing uh, good ruthenium carbon uh, complexes for olefin metal metathesis, uh, several uh, uh, mm, uh, ruthenium carbon complexes uh, were synthesized, and in this uh, regard, prominent are those uh, which have been uh, which are made by Grubbs. Uh, and actually several versions of uh, improved uh, uh, versions of Grubb catalyst uh, were uh, subsequently uh, churned out by Grubbs himself. So, these are uh, known as Grubbs catalyst, then second generation Grubbs catalyst, uh, uh, third generation Grubbs catalyst, so on and so forth. Uh, so, uh, we are going to take a look at some of the uh, 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 existing uh, uh, catalyst uh, uh, which have been uh, developed. Uh, 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 for olefin metathesis centered around uh, ruthenium. So, this is uh, what is prominently called as Grubbs catalyst.
the next comes Grubbs second generation catalyst which is with the n heterocyclic carbon with mesetyl substituents. So, this is a second generation Grubbs catalyst. actually there are two versions. Uh, so, this one is a saturated version and also there is a unsaturated version of the same type, it is just the backbones unsaturated version and then uh, there are several other. So, what is to be noted over here uh, is that uh, this uh, cyclohexyl one of the cyclohexyl phosphine uh, has been re, uh, uh, replaced with uh, n heterocyclic carbene. This is a imidazole based uh, where it is uh, there is a unsaturation unsaturated backbone and then this is uh, uh, five membered where this is a completely saturated background of CH2, CH2. So, uh, these uh, when uh, cyclohexane phosphines are replaced with uh, N heterocyclic carbenes, uh, they become even better in terms of olefin metathesis uh, activity and hence these two are called second generation Grubbs catalyst, uh, uh, where one of the phosphine has been replaced by NHCs. Now, there are uh, uh, other variants. Uh, uh, of uh, um, carbenes as well. Uh, one such uh, prominent variant is uh, uh, Strox catalyst, which we will see. And this is a molybdenum based. two six di isopropyl substituents. Phenyl. CF three CF3 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 CH3. So, this is uh, the Strox molybdenum catalyst. And then comes a tethered alkoxy compound of ruthenium. which is uh, this another uh, variant of this tethered alkoxy complex with carbene is also reported.
and so uh, uh, these slide sort of uh, provide a glimpse of uh, uh, the uh, glimpse of, uh, uh, of uh, the kind of imagination uh, that goes into developing uh, these uh, so many different variants of uh, the catalyst based centered around ruthenium and molybdenum. Uh, so, not only the, the, the richness of the slide in terms of uh, the catalyst development where so many different catalysts uh, of similar uh, types have been uh, synthesized uh, uh, and the other thing which also talks, uh, uh, provide, uh, talks about uh, uh, is the ability to, uh, to stabilize so many different variety uh, of carbon complexes. This also highlights the synthetic capability of organometallic uh, uh, chemistry as such uh, in which uh, uh, the successful synthetic route to so many uh, variants uh, could be uh, established. Uh, now, uh, the next uh, 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 what we are going to be talking about is in trying to understand uh, uh, the developmental aspect uh, of catalyst with regard to uh, the mechanism of this re uh, reaction. So, uh, what is important to note over here is all of these uh, catalysts actually uh, are pre catalyst uh, uh, because the real catalyst uh, is slightly different from uh, these uh, uh, pre catalyst in the sense that uh, it undergoes phosphine dissociation to give a vacant coordination site uh, and that uh, sort of uh, then reacts with olefin. Uh, uh, to give the um, product. So, this uh, is illustrated in more detail in the subsequent slide. For example, So, uh, now the first uh, uh, step uh, what happens uh, is uh, this phosphine dissociation uh, resulting in this active species of ruthenium. having a vacant site and the next step thus involves reacting this species with ruthenium to give this uh, uh, alkene bound ruthenium uh, species as is shown over here. Uh, now, what is uh, to note uh, is that once uh, uh, this uh, uh, species is formed, then the reaction sort of uh, can uh, move towards metathesis in the sense that it can provide the required metallocyclobutane intermediate. and that uh, can then finally uh, give the corresponding product So, uh, if one were to follow uh, this metathesis using the ruthenium carbene in four uh, simple step of reaction, what is important in catalyst development is uh, the first two uh, reaction uh, which is uh, step one involves uh, phosphine dissociation and then uh, step two involves olefin 
binding and that uh, is determined uh, represented by step 2. Usually a olefin binding uh, uh, is a slower and uh, uh, also uh, 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 that is why uh, what sort of is needed to enhance uh, the metathesis reaction. So, now the effort uh, is more uh, in trying to uh, convert uh, this olefin uh, make this olefin binding uh, from slower uh, to faster uh, and this uh, can be achieved uh, by following strategies. The uh, reason uh, the olefin binding is slower uh, because uh, uh, the ruthenium uh, binds to olefin uh, uh, in uh, two way fashion first uh, is the metal to olefin uh, sigma donation uh, and then is metal pi back donation. So, uh, this uh, is important uh, in understanding this metal olefin bi binding, this forward sigma donation as well as pi back donation and this is dependent on electron richness of the metal. So, uh, what is uh, important is that uh, to design catalyst uh, uh, which will uh, not only uh, make phosphine dissociation faster P C Y 3 dissociation faster uh, as a result uh, that uh, will promote uh, a better or improve olefin binding which is so this is step 1 if step 1 becomes faster then step 2 improves uh, now if the step 2 uh, improves then subsequently the metathesis also uh, would improve now uh, for binding of olefin uh, the two factors are required uh, which is metal to ligand to metal sigma donation and metal to uh, uh, ligand pi back donation and uh, for which the metal has to be electron rich. So, uh, in the strategy uh, for developing the catalyst what is required is uh, 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 to make uh, the to make step 1 faster that is phosphine dissociation faster uh, and how is that done uh, uh, we are going to take a look that is done by putting more uh, sterically demanding uh, ligands on the ruthenium uh, so that uh, uh, it becomes crowded and the phosphine uh, dissociation becomes faster. Uh, secondly, uh, uh, to um, if the phosphine dissociation becomes faster then there the phosphine dissociates and there is a vacant site, uh, there is a vacant site uh, uh, where uh, the olefin would come and bind. Uh, uh, so, uh, that would uh, indirectly help uh, binding of olefin. Now, binding of olefin is also uh, uh, facilitated further by making the uh, metal center more electron rich, uh, uh, electron rich in terms of uh, putting ligands which are more uh, a better sigma donor. So, there are like both sterics uh, and as well as electronics uh, uh, both are modified uh, such that uh, mm, uh, these uh, two uh, reactions, reaction 1 for, of phosphine dissociation and reaction 2 of olefin uh, uh, binding are uh, mm, optimized so as to get a better uh, 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 olefin polymerization uh, catalyst and uh, this uh, is achieved uh, by uh, the following uh, strategy for uh, uh, this ruthenium uh, complex as is discussed uh, here. Uh, 
and uh, we are going to now talk about how to improve uh, this uh, increase the catalyst activity. And uh, uh, the first uh, is uh, in this regard, the first uh, strategy is to increase uh, phosphine dissociation. And this can be uh, brought about uh, or by a replacement of of PPH three by PCY three more bulky ligand. So uh, by putting more bulky ligand, uh, it facilitates. Uh, uh, phosphine dissociation as well as by replacement of of chlorine by iodines uh, on the catalyst. So, the idea is more bulky phosphine ligands uh, with larger cord angles uh, will more bulky phosphine ligands with larger cone angle uh, would be a, a, a better uh, for uh, the dissociation of the uh, phosphines. Similarly, a, a, a what, what, uh, what is to be noted over here is the fact that, that only one of the phosphine uh, gets dissociated uh, and the other uh, gets dissociated whereas the other stays, uh, stays on metal. Now this dissociation is facilitated by sterics. Uh, and the electronics uh, are modulated by this phosphine which stays. Relation by uh, this uh, second phosphine that stays onto the uh, metal and for these uh, what is required is more electron rich phosphines. donating phosphines. Uh, uh, this is uh, actually applicable for the phosphine one that particular one which stays on the metal for uh, better binding of olefins. So, uh, what one sees uh, that uh, uh, the first, uh, the first uh, 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 strategy of going for bulkier phosphines that improves improves step one, uh, which is phosphine dissociation. And the second strategy of more electron rich uh, uh, phosphines, this one improves step two that is olefin binding. 
So, uh, uh, and this is uh, 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 electronics. So, what we see, this is electronics uh, modulation. So, steric modulation is more uh, uh, appropriate for step one that uh, which was phosphine dissociation and electronics modification is more uh, uh, appropriate for uh, uh, the step two which is electronic uh, olefin binding. So, uh, in this class what we had uh, 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 done is we have looked into uh, the various kinds of uh, phosphine uh, ruthenium uh, catalyst which have been uh, uh, synthesized for olefin metathesis. Uh, we have looked at how uh, uh, various improvements have been done in terms of replacing uh, uh, one of the phosphines with more electron donating and bulkier n heterocyclic carbon uh, uh, variants uh, ligands. We have also seen how uh, tethering of an alkoxy a group uh, in the ruthenium carbon, uh, 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 ca uh, um, carbon complexes have been uh, undertaken. We have also seen molybdenum catalyst as developed by Schrock. Uh, uh, then uh, in the course of uh, further discussion in this lecture what we have also done is we have looked at uh, the uh, uh, this elementary steps in which uh, the catalyst ruthenium carbon complexes undertake olefin metathesis and then uh, looked upon the strategies which uh, uh, are uh, uh, put in place in order to improve uh, the activity of the ruthenium catalyst. What we have observed is that uh, the most many all of the ruthenium complexes which are used for metathesis are actually precatalyst. Uh, that means that uh, they uh, go on to form uh, uh, a different species uh, by uh, a more unsaturated electronically as well as uh, coordinatively unsaturated species by dissociation of uh, uh, phosphine uh, in the first step uh, uh, to form the uh, active species to which the olefin then binds. Uh, to give the olefin coordinated adduct and then that subsequently undergoes metathesis reaction. So, what uh, uh, the general uh, affinity shows that uh, olefin binding is very slow uh, which uh, happens in the step 2. So, what we had seen that proper modulation of the interplay of the sterics as well as electronics can help uh, uh, facilitate uh, the, uh, the the metathesis reaction by improving or increasing phosphine dissociation. This has been achieved by putting more bulkier uh, ligands uh, around the metal center for example, on moving from triphenylphosphine to tricyclohexylphosphine or on going from chlorine to iodine. Uh, the more bulkier uh, the ligands uh, around ruthenium uh, is uh, the first step is facilitated in terms of phosphine dissociation is affected. And second thing is uh, about increasing uh, uh, the binding of the olefin which uh, by inherent nature is a slow uh, binder to the ruthenium and this has been achieved by uh, improving the through electronics by improving the electron density of the uh, uh, metal center and this uh, has been done by putting more electron rich phosphine uh, or n heterocyclic carbenes on the metal. Now, it is to be noted that uh, Grubb's first generation catalyst uh, or the Grubb's original catalyst has two cyclohexyl phosphine of which one uh, dissociates to give the active species whereas, uh, the second phosphine stays on to the metal and uh, that phosphine uh, uh, then modulates the electron density uh, 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 around metal uh, for it to effectively bind to uh, olefin uh, uh, so that the metathesis reaction. Uh, uh, becomes faster. So, uh, what we see is successful implementation of uh, sterics, uh, uh, implementation of strategies based on sterics and electronics uh, in enhancing or jacking up the activity of the olefin metathesis catalyst. So, with this uh, we come to conclusion of today's lecture where we have looked at different types of ruthenium uh, metathesis catalyst that have been synthesized, uh, all the variants of it. Uh, uh, and also uh, we have looked at the different strategies that have been put in place in order uh, uh, to improve on the activity of the ruthenium catalyst. What we had noted is that there are two key steps which are uh, uh, in the beginning of this metathesis reaction first is uh, the formation of the catalyst through phosphine dissociation. This has been improved upon by putting more uh, uh, bulkier ligand around the metal and the second uh, step is of course, the olefin binding and this has been uh, improved upon by putting using electronics uh, uh, as a tool by putting more electron rich uh, or sigma donating ligands on the metal. So, that olefin binding is facilitated and as a result uh, the metathesis goes uh, up. 
So with this, we come to conclusion on today's uh, of uh, today's lecture. We are going to look at the strategy of catalyst development in much more detail uh, as we take up this topic uh, of olefin metathesis in uh, next uh, class. Till then, goodbye and thank you.